Hi YouTubers. I'd love all government departments to collate their data and information and give us uh, quarterly reports, the likes of Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and then an annual report on how much uh, asylum seekers, people seeking in the, uh, you know, international protection, how much they're costing a quarter, uh, how much the housing is costing, uh, figures from the Department of Health, how much uh, health they're costing, the department, how much they're costing the Department of Health. Uh, I'd also like to see any other costs associated with them, all collated, and then annually give the figures to show the Irish people, the Irish taxpayers, how generous they are, and to show the world. I'd also like them to put together uh, financial figures for non-governmental organisations that are involved with refugees, and I'd like to hear how much they're getting every year. You know, the cheerleaders of wanting all the the people coming into Ireland when we haven't got the facilities. Uh, I'd like to see that all being uh, printed every quarter and every year. I know there's other costs as well, legal fees. I'd like uh, the Department of Justice to let us know how much in legal fees it's costing. I'd like to know how much it costs the Department of Transport to let them put figures together and let us know how much it costs uh, for uh, transportation around the state and on the very small occasion that there's a deportation, how much that's costing us. The overall picture I want is, I want the Irish people to know, the Irish taxpayers. Now, that doesn't mean an Irish taxpayer has to be Irish. There's Indian taxpayers, there's Ch Chinese, Filipino, all their taxpayers' money, they're all taxpayers as well. And they're all here contributing to the economy. And I'm sure they'd like to know where their money goes as well. So, uh, I know the figures will never be released in the format I stated. But uh, I think they should be. I think once the Irish people knows how much this is costing, they might think, like there was a capuchin, uh, I think he's someone working in a capuchin centre, capuchin center, and when he started, he was only giving out 50 dinners to the poor every day now they're giving out 600 but we haven't got the money for those people we have it for others you know what i mean uh, you have people looking for wheelchairs uh, other medical equipment and they're finding it very slow getting them some don't get them at all and like i'm sure if we see the billions this is costing people will have a reality check then to say look we are the land of a thousand welcomes, but we can only welcome so many people. You know what I mean? So, what do you think? Thanks, YouTubers.